Who am I with here today? Eduardo from Brazil. I'm Leonhard Trenkel from Linz in Austria. I'm Daniel Stubicek and I'm from Tübingen, Germany. Hello, I'm from Ghana. Hello, I am Dewang Leidistira. My name is Rafael. I come from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Let's start with the first question. Are you ready? I am. Okay, so what is your favorite subject or topic area in medical school? I guess probably internal medicine because I really like the way you have to solve the diagnosis and it's so interesting how it integrates with physiology, clinic, symptoms and also exams. I'm very into radiation oncology. That was my first contact with medicine. I still love it. Hematology for sure. I think anything new, like I love the brain, so neurosurgery, neurology, anything just counts me in, <laughs> right? Um, my favorite subject is physiology and why I love them because like they don't need to remember all the things so you just got like understand. So it's more understanding. I have a follow up question for that. So like did you have like a favorite body system for physiology? Yeah. Like the cardio or like physiology of the lungs? The cardiology one. My favorite subject is oncology and also I like pathology. Some people say that doctors don't get to go on travels or vacations because of their tight schedule. Is that true? Um, we'll answer this question when we are doctors. But do you have free time as a medical student? Well, I do. Not that much, but I think it's a matter of organization. So if you can really organize your schedule, you can have time to do whatever you want. Oh yes, definitely. Especially in the last two years of the, st of the study, yes. Do you have free time as a medical student? Retirement? Do you have free time as uh, a medical student? Uh, it depends. Uh, it's not that great at the moment, to be honest. So, not much. Well, yeah, sometimes I make time. I don't have free time. I just make the free time. Being a doctor, I think it depends on like what hospital are you in. Even though you are still busy or like doing some many things, uh, you still have cut free time. It's like depends on you what you want to do. Well, that's a trick question. I don't have much free time because I study a lot. Like there's a lot of classes during the day, but we always try our best. How do you balance school and personal life? Well, I guess, just like the former question, it's a matter of organization. So if you focus on what you want to do and like separate some time in your day for that, you can also say, okay, I need an hour to do whatever I want and just respect that time for yourself. I don't. Valid. I try my best. Sometimes I'm like, you know what, life is not that deep. Just just enjoy life and I just put like my books away but sometimes I'm like no I have to like make these grades so I just try my best to find the balance but I don't think it's working but yeah you're trying. Uh, that's quite difficult you already make a free time or you already make appointments so the schedule will not disturb your time. I try to play volleyball which is something I like and I can do this with my uni. I try to always balance like exercising myself and studying. Um, how many hours do you typically study each day? Well I'm not in really into studying at night so I take normally one weekend day to study. If I do the average four or five hours a day. I would say about six to eight hours. If you like subtract the like TikTok, uh, probably around six hours. On average, like eight hours. Okay, so I'm not the person who like study every day, but I will study like two weeks or a weeks before the exam and that I will study maybe three or four hours per day. Oh, during the week, I would say like 10 hours, but during the weekend, like two to three hours. What was the worst enemy or your greatest challenges in medical school and how did you overcome it? I think maybe the greatest challenge is having a lot of things that you want to do but not all the time in the world and I overcame it by learning how to say no and just focusing on what I care the most. Mm. There was one exam I would have passed but I forgot to um, give it back kind of, I instead put it in the backpack? Mm, probably uh, the TikTok addiction and I didn't. 
<laughs> I think sleep. <laughs> like I really, really, really like sleeping. So I, I think I just had to find a way to like reduce my sleep time so I could like learn more because yeah and I don't know how I did it but I think discipline and like just knowing what you want so my greatest enemy was like laziness because like uh, everyone have to face the laziness but how to I mean it's like uh, it's like more uh, just a reminder from like my parents or my family like don't be lazy just go study because medical student is not for everyone like okay starting to learn how you study well how you can like take like use your time well so this was the hardest part because at the beginning like i was studying so many hours but uh, it wasn't really getting so effective and the other thing in medicine is also that everything's kind of, kind of hard and expensive so i try to overcome like going towards cheaper things and like trying my best Okay, how do you memorize everything? Well, I think I don't ev with everything, but I try to focus on what's closer to the medical practice. Mm -hmm. I just read through a lot of times and just keep repeating. Uh, Anki. I use flashcards. Anki and like my school, the seniors already make like the decks for you, so you just download them. So you, as long as now you come to like create them. On your own, so I just use Anki flashcards here. Yeah. It's impossible to memorize everything, but I think you need to have a schedule that you can reveal the things you already learned. So I try to have the classes one day and the same day at the end try to reveal. And then like one week afterwards, I try to reveal the same subject. Okay, so like repetition? Yeah, repetition. So I think integrating with clinical knowledge is always important. I try to be in touch with medical literature and to like real life cases so that I know what's really important to memorize. But I also like to keep on the shelf some other stuff to review later. That's very good. Did you hesitate going into medical school? Well, I think the only hesitation was regarding like having to fight for my spot at university. But after that, I think I did a good choice, so that's great. Hesitate? Yeah, like... No, not at all. Not at all? No, not really. I actually didn't. Like, I, I really wanted to come to medical school when I came. <laughs> I'm like, who sent me? Uh, at the first, I hesitated because like, in Indonesia, there are thousand people who want to go into medical school and they only accept maybe just like a hundred, so... So much. I, I, I entered med school quite late because I also studied nutrition before and I always liked it but I hesitate so much because it's expensive in Brazil and I think everywhere is expensive and also uh, it's a hard task. You need to study a lot. Do you ever feel burnt out and how often? I do feel quite tired, especially at the end of the semester because that's when in Brazil we have all the tests. But aside from that, I actually try to take care of my mental health, so it's not very often. Um, at the beginning, yes, but I overcame it. Yes, all the time. Like every week, like I have to go home like almost every weekend to like recharge because yeah, it's real. Uh, actually, I quite often like burn out. Maybe just before an exam, I will go burn out because like I have studied many things. Oh, I already did. Not very often though, but I would say like once per semester <laughs> at least. That's good. <laughs> what is the best thing of medical school so far? Well, I think is once you realize you have enough knowledge to diagnose something and you know that if that person comes to you, you can take care of them minimally well. I like the social network there and everything you're going to explore a new topic and can learn something new, of course. Uh, I really enjoy it, like histology, pathology. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say. Um, yeah, I just like the theoretical stuff, I guess. Mm, I think the social network and how 
there are actually so many opportunities available to us as medical students. I don't think normal students have. So yeah, I think the opportunities and the social network. Like nice opportunity. Also getting to know other people that share the same schedule, the same feelings and everything. I think this is the nicest part. Now it's your turn, Daniel. And any last tips for motivated students out there? What you are being taught in class, but it's just how to absorb everything and like 